Aries, what's going on with y'all? Glad you could be here, one, two, one, two. Um, we gonna set it off with an oracle card, an oracle draw. I may cuss, but I don't curse. Let's get that situated first. Bars. And if you need me, you know where to go, right? Description box. That's it. Click the link. and It'll show you everything you need to know about me. All right? As far as the services that I have to offer. Um, with that being said, let's get these cards read. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad that you could be here, all of you. Newcomers, you've been here for a while. You've been here from the beginning. You know? It's all good. Um... What else? And I just hope you're doing well. If not, we're going to get there. You know what I'm saying? Even if the cards say that you got an obstacle, we're still going to get there. We're going to figure it out. All right. This is the Oracle card at hand. Self-worth. Now, we could really just say that's self-explanatory, right? <laughs> but I'm still going to go into the deck and find out what the reading is as far as um, the author of this deck has defined it, you know? You can definitely get a more in-depth look if it is even more in-depth, okay? Nothing wrong with that. Can't hurt none. And we learn together in the process. Eventually, I'm going to memorize this this deck like the back of my hand. Believe that. So you are a divine being full of light, knowledge, and wisdom. You have heard these words before on various occasions, but not enough times. Unfortunately, as this is not the way you are living your life, your light often shines too weakly. You still trust other people's truths more than your own. Self-worth, even self-love, allows you to be critical, to question things, to say no, and to establish boundaries in those or with those who are doing you harm, rather. A lack of self-worth can also be revealed in small actions. You might put away a new item of clothing in a cupboard for later or a special occasion. Your whole life is a special occasion. You have lovely new wine glasses for your guests, but when you drink wine on your own, you use an old one. And you only, and you only, that's not funny, but, and you only ever buy flowers when you are expecting visitors. Tomorrow, buy a large bouquet for yourself. Go on, do it. The leopard dragon is the most intelligent of all the dragons and is telling you to appreciate your worth. You are valuable. Make this decision and act accordingly. This powerful dragon is gently whispering in your ear, you are a valuable, now let me stop. <laughs> you are a valuable and loving, magical woman or man. Write this sentence as an affirmation on 13 strips of paper, but profess, prefaced with the words, I am. Place the notes in different places around your home and in your car. Leave the notes in place for 21 days and read them each time they catch your eye. See what I'm saying? Some of these cards got rituals and stuff like that. So I did sleep with the uh, hope card under my pillow. What was that? Last night? It's pretty awesome. Slept well. Um, all right, so... Let me let you see the card again, right? Now it's the leopard print. Y'all know about leopard print? You do the psychology on leopard print. Very attractive, hypnotizing print. It's one of the most, if not the most, hypnotizing and attracting uh, design on earth. Just wanted to throw a little psychology in there. Why not, right? All right. So what we're going to do now is put this deck to the side. And get into some tarot for the Aries energy. Cross watches included. I'm glad y'all could be here too. I'm not fronting on y'all. Like, I want y'all here too. You know what I'm saying? You might be wanting to do your little one to on some Aries. You know what I mean? I got the eagle eye incense lit though. You know what I mean? So, we're not doing those over here. You know what I'm saying? Just, just tread lightly. I'm not threatening you and all that. But I'm just saying, I'll be knowing how shit be transpiring sometimes. You know what I'm saying? So. Take it easy out there, y'all. Take it easy, even on the people who have wronged you. I'm not saying. Let me not put my own twist on it, because I don't know what the cards are going to say, right? I doubt it says to go outside and get Rambo, though. Or, but, who knows? You never know. You know what I'm saying? You never know. All right. One more shuffle. One more shuffle. With that being said, let's get these cards read. Bars. Because I'm nice. First card represents the situation at hand for the Aries energy. Princess of Cups. Second card represents how you feel about the situation. Two of Torches. Third card represents factor to consider. Princess of Pentacles in reverse. 
Y'all see these cards though? Hold on, look at them. these cards are just gorgeous, man. Maybe you want to pause it or something. You know, I don't want to drag it in. But these cards are just fucking gorgeous, yo. All right, so let's take a look at this. All right, so there's a there's a decision at hand that you want to make very badly. I must use the word very because the determination here is burning. Even the stance of this individual here, like I I could tell the body language even on cartoon characters or whatever whatever art you draw. That is the stance of someone who's like, yeah, I'm going to do this shit. Whichever way it goes, it's going to go. You know what I mean? It's going to go. And um, I have a feeling that one of those doors goes towards bars because I'm nice, right? I when you hit, you know what I'm saying? When you when you a writer and you hear it, you just got to state it. You got to know that you got to say that you heard it. But I feel like one of these doors, and it's probably the left one, because this is the situation at hand, the Princess of Cups. I think you've been real gentle. You've been real, um, you know, easygoing in your life right now. Um... Hmm. There's a there's an air of you are also grounded as well. So it's one thing to be in tune with yourself when it comes to emotions and you know you're gentle, you're warm, you know you know how to carry it. You know what I mean? You know how to carry it. But also when you're grounded, that combination is it's not deadly, it's not you know, I don't want to say it like that. It's just one that is it's real good quality. You understand what I'm saying? And we're just, this is a, a general statement, but, you know, everybody's not, this is a better way to say it. Everybody's not deserving of obtaining and having good quality shared with them. Like I was talking yesterday, I believe, it was on my, my next video coming up about what should a Pisces man do, I believe, to where Venus represents conditional love, conditional love, not unconditional love. And I think... What this reading is telling me is that people see the strength in being able to be what you are, which is both grounded and emotionally in tune. And they may want that. They may not be skilled to develop that. And so they want to get it from you. Or they may be mesmerized by it. And therefore want to encounter you. However, don't realize what it takes to embody the correlation of the two. So what's being said here is that you're contemplating whether or not you should remain in that vein, bars, because I'm nice. And pause, because that's kind of crazy. But whether you should remain in that vein, because you can sense that people are taking that for granted. And it might just be two people at hand. Now that's taking it for granted, but it might be one person out of two people who is taking that for granted, or they just misuse it. They don't know how to fully interpret it for themselves. Instead, they might be reliant on you to keep experiencing it, but that's living vicariously. And when it's done in that way, it's like they're not ever going to be able to take it upon themselves to be able to exercise that spirit in that position that you possess in life on their own. So it's not like they're learning from you. Um, yeah, it's not like they're learning from you. You see, yeah, and that's the issue. The princess of pentacles in reverse being the factor to consider is this is the actual person, the other person that I'm talking about that's not absorbing 
what they're looking at in you, what they're finding in you, what they definitely identify, but they don't know how to self-identify with it. Mm, talk about it. Talk your talk, though. What that say? Talk your talk, self-worth. This is an Aries reading. Aries is about the self, the individual. They are struggling to identify with themselves. They're having an identity crisis. You know who this is. You know who this is. See, I knew it. It's people. So these two doors here, they're two people. And you're going, or you're on the verge, should I say, of determining which door you're going through. And I also sense this, that when you choose one or the other, one over the other, and I can just guess that you're not choosing this princess of pentacles in reverse because they're not using you intelligently. It's a misuse. And you can pick up on that. You can feel that in your conversations. You can feel that in your interactions, the words being used, the types of conversations that y'all are having. And that's going to influence your choice. And um, that's why you're going to choose not to. You want them not for nothing, to learn from you in your absence. I don't know how vivid this decision is going to be for them to actual, actually see bars. <laughs> Fucking night show. But I can tell you this, it's going to be fast. Pause. And with that being said, until next time, I'm out.